Hi, this is Braj here. In this video, I am going to explain you about architecture drawing of a building. So, let's start. And here you can see that this is the location map of the building. It is not in the scale. This is the proposed building site where the building is to be constructed. And this is the main road. And from the main road, this is the branch road. And in this way, we can go to the proposed site of the building. This, this is called location map. And this is the site plan, site plan of the building, where the building is to be constructed. And you can see that total site area of the building is 1775.40 square feet. And here you can see this is the hatched portion and this is the proposed building, where the building is to, is to be constructed. And this is the boundary line, this is the boundary line of the land. And this is the existing XX road of the building and here you can see that this is the this is the ground floor plan fitted in the land this is the red color line is the boundary line of the land and this is the XX road and this is the ground floor plan fitted in that land and here this is the ground floor ground floor plan, plan of the building and its splint area is 841.58 square feet. Similarly, this is the first floor plan, first floor plan of the same building. And its splint area is also 841.58 square feet. And this is the roof floor, or the top floor plan of the building and its splint area is 633.19 square feet. And in the ground floor plan, we can say that these are the grid lines. 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, and 1, 1. These are the horizontal grid lines. And grid lines A, B, C along the vertical direction. That is, means it is grid lines along the vertical direction. That means in Y direction. And grid lines 1, 2, 3, and 4 are along X direction. And the ground floor, we can see that this is the car ports and this is the main door main door of the building and when we enter here we can go through that air case to the off next floor that is first floor this is the main door of this flat this flat main door this is the washroom this is the storeroom this is lobby and this is the bedroom upside 10 feet by 12 feet then this is the another bedroom Offside 10 feet by 12, 12 feet 5 inch, and this is the kitchen come dining room, and this is the another door to exit outside. And in the first floor, in the first floor, we can see this is the plan of first floor, and here this is the staircase, and this is the main door, main door of the this flat. And here also washroom, a storeroom, and this is the bedroom. This is living room. The whole area is living room. This is another bedroom outside, 10 feet by 12 point, 12 feet 5 inch. This is kitchen and dining room. And in this portion there is a balcony, and for that balcony this this is a door D2. Here also balcony for that bedroom, and its plinth area is 841.58 square feet. Similarly, we can see this is the top floor plan and it's a plinth area is 633.19 square feet. And here we can see this is the terrace portion, terrace, this portion, and this is the staircase. And here this is the main door of that flat. And here is washroom, this is puja room, and this is the family hall offside 12 feet 9 inch by 11 feet 11 inch. And in the next figure, we can see that this is the section, section of the same building. And here we can say this is the section of a staircase, this is the door, this is window. And here this is the ground level, 1 feet 6 inch, ground level this is, and plinth level 0, that is plinth level. And you can see first floor level, 9 feet 4 inch. And that another floor level 18 feet 8 inch roof level 28 feet 0 inch and we can see that a story height of the building is 9 feet 4 inch that means the 
the whole building has the score store height of 9 feet 4 inch and you can see here this is the opening schedule details this is main door main door symbol is md and size is 3 feet 6 inch by 8 feet 0 inch and it is used in ground floor and and total quantity is one single this is door d symbol its size is 3 feet 6 inch by 7 feet 0 inch and it is used in ground floor one first floor one total number of two similarly door d2 door d1 door d3 window window one window two window three door window ventilation etc these are the opening details opening schedule and this is the elevation view of the same building this is south elevation south elevation view that means in the plan this is north this is south this that means if you look this building from south direction then it will look like that south elevation this is the main door this is window ground floor first floor second floor and this is the window of a staircase this is a railing parapet and this is north north elevation that means from this side and here we can see that there is no any window the total wall is packed so it's look like that this is the north elevation of the same building that means when we look at the building from this side this north side it will look like that and similarly this is the west elevation west side elevation means this is north south east west from this side when we look at the building from this side that means west side it will look like that this is the west west elevation similarly this is the east elevation east elevation means this from this side from this side when we look at this building it will see like that this is the east elevation of the building and here you can see that this is the plan view of the building this is ground floor plan this is first floor plan this is top floor plan and here these are the a b c these are the grid lines in vertical direction and this is one two three and four these are the grid lines in horizontal distance and these are the columns column this is also column so select all these grid lines this is grid line a this is b this is grid line c a b c and this is the grid line 4 this is grid line 3 this is grid line 2 this is grid line 1 and this is the column these all are selected and then copy copy these old grid lines here and here you can see these are the grid lines grid lines 4 3 2 1 in x direction and, and grid lines a b c along y direction and now we can also copy from here the staircase stair plan from here you can this copy Okay, and this is copy. This is the staircase. Now we can give the dimension. Here, this is the inclined line. So make it horizontal. Excel horizontal. And this. Now draw, draw the dimension line. Here are the grid lines. And now dimension line. And those feet. Yeah. 
x direction, similarly in y direction. These are the dimension lines. Now, now we can convert these. This this unit is in feet and inch. Ten feet one inch. Thirteen feet two inch. And now we can convert these units in yum yum. For this, this is the along x direction, and this is in feet. This is inch. Similar in y direction, this is feet, this is inch. These all are input files. This is also input file. In x direction, 10 feet 1 inch, and 10 feet 1 inch, and it will become. 3025 in mm and 3.025 in meter. Similarly, 13 to 13 to 13 feet 2 inch and it will become 3.95 meter in x direction. Similarly, in y direction. 8 feet 7 inch, 8 feet 7 inch means 8 feet 7 inch. Next is this is little round. Twelve feet one inch. Twelve feet one inch. Similarly, 11 feet 11 inch 11 feet 11 inch 1 feet 1 feet 0 inch this is 0 feet 8 inch this is 8 inch these all these all dimensions are converted into mm and meter these are the required value in x direction and along y direction now now we can see here we should consider all these dimension from this this point taking as origin and this if we consider this column as origin then this will be along x direction positive x direction and this will be along positive y direction so consider this point as origin, this column as origin. And this is the unit of force, this is in kilonewton, this is the unit of dimension meter. For this first go to file, new model. And you can see here kilonewton meter and C is temperature and go to grid only option, click OK. And this is the 3D view, 3D view of, of a structure. And this is the xy plane where j is equal to 12 and now we can this is the default drawn grid lines now we can draw you can modify these these grid lines with the help of our value with the help of this dimension so uh, right click edit grid data modify source system these are ordinates this is spacing go to spacing and this is the grid lines along x direction and we can see here along x direction there is only two value 10 feet 1 inch and 13 feet 2 inch this is a, and it is converted into it is converted into two value 3.025 meter and 3.95 meter so it is that value it is that value And here, first is 
जीरो टू फाइव थ्री पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव एंड सेकेंड इज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन फाइव थ्री पॉइंट नाइन फाइव एंड थर्ड विल बी जीरो एंड डिलेट दिस दिस इज एक्स डिरेक्शन सिमिलर इन वाई डिरेक्शन टू पॉइंट फाइव सेवन फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव सेवन फाइव नेक्स्ट इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव नेक्स्ट इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेवन फाइव थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेवन फाइव एट एट नेक्स्ट इज पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री जीरो पॉइंट थ्री नेक्स्ट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो पॉइंट टू एंड द लास्ट इज जीरो एंड दिस इज जेड ग्रेड मीन्स एलॉन्ग स्टोरी हाइट एंड वी कीप इट एट सेम वैल्यू फॉर नाउ क्लिक ओके एंड ओके नाउ दिज आर द दिस इज द ग्रीड लाइन्स एज पर दिस दिस ग्रीड एज पर दिस ग्रीड सिमिलरली वी कैन सी हेयर द स्टोरी हाइट इस इज द सेक्शन एंड स्टोरी हाइट ऑफ द बिल्डिंग इज नाइन फीट फोर इंच वी कैन ऑल्सो कन्वर्ट इट एज कंट्रोल वी नाइन फीट फोर इंच मीन्स टू पॉइंट एट मीटर सो गो हेयर इडिट इडिट ग्रेड डाटा मोडिफाइ सो सिस्टम स्पेसिंग टू पॉइंट एट टू पॉइंट एट मीटर एंड हाउ मेनी स्टोरी स्टोरी वन टू एंड थ्री थ्री स्टोरी सो टू पॉइंट एट टू पॉइंट एट टू पॉइंट एट एंड लास्ट वैल्यू इज जीरो दिस इज एक्स्ट्रा सो डिलेट इन ओके ओके दिस इज थ्री डी दिस इज एक्स वाई प्लेन दिस इज एक्स वाई प्लेन दिस and you can see here this is equal to z बराबर जीरो means base similarly go here in story one z बराबर two point eight story two z बराबर five five point six story three eight point four in this way we can draw the grid lines of any building of any building in step two thousand thanks for watching the video